Today we are going to create this keyboard typing effect in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it to type any words you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so at the minute After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps. Just click on OK. Now first let's create a background. So right click new, let's add a solid and make sure that it's not completely white, little bit off white. Just click on OK. So first we are going to create our button. So for that I'm going to use the rounded rectangle, but it's completely up to you can use a rectangle, ellipse, whatever you want. So hold on the shift key, just click and drag till it creates a perfect rounded rectangle or the square. Now let's go inside this. First I'm going to change its color. I'm going to make this like little bit dark and stroke. I'm going to set this to zero. Let's search for the size parameter and I'm going to change this to let's say 250. Now let's align it to the center using the align panel. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. We want to create a outline inside this. So for that, we can again search for size and I'm going to set this one to 235. And let's just set the fill to none. We don't want any fill, we only want stroke. So I'm going to like just increase it to something like three or maybe four. Let's select this and I think four will be nice. So now we have this very nice outline. Now we can type our text as well. So let's select the text tool and we can type one character. So I'm going to type M for motion. Let's align it to the center. Let's make it anchor point in the center. So hold on the control key or command key on Mac and double click on the span anchor tool. Let's press S and I'm going to just scale this up. So here we have our first letter. Now in order to create the button depth, we are going to use this bottom layer. Now we are going to convert this into a Bezier path. So if you want to make any changes to the size, then you can do it right now. Otherwise you won't be able to do it later on. So we can select this layer and I'm going to go inside the rectangular path. Let's select this right click convert to Bezier path. So now it will give us these points, which we can easily animate. Let's open up the path property. I'm going to add a keyframe. And before we start deforming it, we can add a couple of points just to make the shape look symmetrical. So first I'm going to add a point somewhere in between these two points. So this one, this one, we can add a point here. Similarly, we can add a point between these two points as well. So let's add it over here. Perfect. Now we can create the 3D depth by simply selecting all of these points except the middle one and the top one. So let's select this one. Hold on the shift key, select this, this, and let's select this one. Now we can go to 100 view. Now hold on the shift key and using the arrow key, we can move it to the left side, then down. So this depth look good to me. And once you're happy with this, we can animate it by simply going to, let's press hold on the shift key and press page down key. You can move like 10 frames or let's move it for five frames for now. And in order to create the effect, we are going to move the top part, which is this one to the location. So I'm going to select this and let's select this and these two and these two at the bottom. Now we can match the shape again using the same arrow keys. So here we have our shape. Now we can select the top layer, which is this one. And let's parent it to the base. Now we can select the base. Let's press P for position. Let's add a keyframe. Let's place it in the beginning. And somewhere around here, we can again place this add to this location. So here you can see now we have it in the center. Now again, we can move five frames and just copy and paste it and copy and paste this. So now if I press play, you can see we have this clicking animation. Now we can select this keyframe, press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, then make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. And we can change the graph to look something like this. So in the beginning, we can make it like a little bit slower and at the end as well so that we have this clicking motion so here we have our first letter now if you want to add more delay or you want to make it slower then you can select all the keyframes hold on the alt key or option key on mac then click the last keyframe and just drag it now it will even out so now you can see now we have much smoother and a slower animation so it's completely up to you can play around with this with the timing of these 
So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So once you're happy with this, we are ready to create other characters as well. So there are a few things that you can do. So first I'm going to select these, press U and let's select this. And I'm going to select all of these keyframes and let's move it to somewhere around, let's say three seconds. And I'm going to place it somewhere around here. So our animation will start around this point. Now after that, we can select all of these layers and right click, pre-compose. Now let's call this M, which is our first letter and make sure that move all attributes set. Just click on okay. Now there are two ways in which you can do this. So first is by simply selecting this layer. If I press Ctrl D, it will duplicate this layer. Now I can go inside this layer and change this letter to the next one, which is O. If I go back again, I can change the letter name over here as well. Now I can drag it inside this composition. And now you can see we have these two buttons and both of them will click. But there is one cool way of doing it as well. So you can see that the name of the layer is same as the character. So what we can do is we can type a simple expression so that it will automatically pick the character name from the composition name. So let's select this layer and open up this text property. Hold on the alt key and under the source text, we can type this comp, then type dot name and just click. Now what it will do is it will take the character name from this composition name. So if I change this to let's say G, you can see that it will automatically update over here. So this way we can easily change the comp name and all the settings will be applied. So now to type motion, we can select this, press control D and let's type O. We have M O, let's control D, T. Now since we have the expression, so all of these letters will already be applied. So once we're done with this, we can easily import all of them let's, let's import o there you go now we have added all of these letters now we can select them and let's move them to one side so that we can align them let's select and move everything aside let's select the o and let's align it over here so i'm going to quickly zoom in and let's just barely make it touch this now you can zoom out hold on the shift key and let's just move it to the left side using the arrow keys now in the same way, let's move the second one. So we are aligning it so that all of these have similar sort of gap. Let's align, set this to full, hold on shift key and arrow key. Now repeat this step to align all of them. Now we have aligned our text, so we can add a null object to control all of these. Let's select everything and parent it to this null. Select the null, press S so that you can scale all of them at once. Now you can place them wherever you want. Perfect. Now we can go to the very beginning and there is one more thing that you can do. So if I go inside this and let's select them, let's go to the three second. We don't want the text to be visible in the beginning so we can trim this layer. So you can do this step before I forgot to do that so that you don't have to do it inside all of these layers. Just trim them at this point so that they will be revealed when we have this click animation. So now you can see in the beginning they won't be visible and they will be visible only after this three second mark. So let's pick the point where all of them are visible and let's press the star key or asterisk to add this marker. Now go to 15 seconds or 15 frame and let's just align them so that they will start appearing one after other. So once it has appeared, we can make this N appear. And after that, we can have this, then this. So just randomly align them so that all of them appear like that. So here you can see we have all of them appearing up one after the perfect. So in the same way, you can create one more character or word and just place it down below like I showed in the example. So once you're happy with your text, you can select all of these layers. Let's select the null, right click, pre-compose and let's call this text. To add the nice shadow, we can duplicate this layer and select the bottom one. Let's search for CC radial blur. Let's drag it onto this, change the settings to fading zoom, increase the amount. Let's set the center point to somewhere around here. Now you can see we have this very nice shadow. If this is too dark, you can press T and lower down the opacity. 
So now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice keyboard typing animation in After Effects. So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.